Hey, Wonky, no problem. If you want more information or you want more advanced charting, make sure you check out the Spin and Go course as well. Grand Tour is not a Spin and Go. However, the Spin and Go course will help you get your get your ass in gear for this uh, for these faster formats. So, guys, we're finally making a 25 for the first time today. Next game, please. Come on. Number 17. Let's go, Nick. You got this. Come on, man. Yeah, guys, please don't put drop in the chat. Please also don't type win in the chat. Both of those are uh, our blacklisted spam here because there are drops available. So don't worry, they are available and we're also not doing giveaways today on this channel, so. All right, guys, here, oh no. Look at him, look at him. Look at this guy on my table. Thinks he's gonna take this money from me. Are you kidding me? He comes, comes to my house. He thinks he's going to take this game off of me. He's got another thing coming. Uh, facing a 3-bet without the opportunity to actually win a booty here as well. Somewhat scary. Probably still can't fold King Queen. I know we got all the throwables, buddy. Balauto, we're not sure yet. I guess this uh, it all it all comes down to this run, to be honest. Go right, no problem, buddy. Thank you for your input as well, Mr. Strag. Do you know each other? Lifestyle, yeah, it's not going so great. It's all good though. It's all good. Oh man, I don't know what to do. I'm definitely going to do this and misclick at some point, like call it all in with seven dues. <laughs> A 
Come on now. Don't do it. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that at the 25s. Give me a hand here. For God's sake. Give me something to work with. Poker stars, I believe in you. Freue mich später auf Stream. Stream. <laughs> Check Nicholson, nice one. Oh, Croak's busted by aces. How do you feel, buddy? How do you feel, buddy? Unlucky Crocorino. Unlucky Crocorino. A salt shaker throwable would be funny. <laughs> Balata says, We have Croak stream sniping here. Be careful, OP Poker. Everything you do at the table conveys information. Ace Jack, please give me a flip. And let me win it. Let me win it too. All right, here we go. Now, Jack eight is a hand that we're gonna steal with here. Definitely part of that weird, goofy range. Check here has got to be scary, right? Got to be freaking him out. Begging for a call at this stage, right? Yeah, yeah. Pokestar Strag, thank you very much for El Sub. Jack High Forever. Yeah, we're never going to get Queen to fold. That's fine. We controlled the pot really nicely there. The decision not to bet is really good as well because I don't think we're ever going to get him to fold that hand. Uh, Queen 10 is the cutoff here anyway. Um, thank you very much, Pokestar Strag, for the gifted tier one sub to Fade or Hold, one of my all time favorite screen names here on Twitch. Fade or Hold is just the absolute boss name. All right, guys, wish me luck. Oh, hard times, hard times. Uh, all right, so shoving nine deuce here to isolate a three blind bounty. Ugh. I wanna make it to that final so bad and there's no way we're gonna get king 10 to fold here. So this is probably good that we got away. What did Croak say? Be happy you folded queen 10 off, I had ace king, nice. All right, so if we make it this much, this guy can uh, re-ISO with a worse hand. This guy can still shove and we can call. That's what I'm talking about. Hold. Hold. Fade or holds. Fade or holds. Nice. <laughs> Gypsy, exactly, exactly. All right, 10-4 suited now. We are extremely shallow. This is definitely gonna be on the cusp of a, uh, this will definitely be inside of a, uh, a Nash shove here. Damn. All right, final time, baby, let's go. Let's go. Picking up some booties on the way. Feeling so much better now. We are going to the 60 with $61.80 on our head. So far, we've picked up uh, $47.28. So we've made $47.28 so far, guys. And obviously, that's making up for lost time. We were pretty, pretty in the hole <clears throat> so far today. Not getting very deep yet. So let's take it to the next level. Final number 17. Let's go. Oh, straight in the game. Straight in the game.
Xflix, Dankeschön. Dankeschön, Mann. Uh, ja, aber uh, ich, muss mal, ich muss meine Deu Deutsche üben auch. Aber meine ex freundin ist uh, jetzt meine ex freundin so difficult to practice. Fade or holds. All right, King Six, LFG. Whew, come on now. Is this the so-called sun run I've heard so much about? Oh, uh, to be honest, that was that was okay. That wasn't that wasn't as much of a sun run as we've seen before to get there. Shoney limps the button. This is a pretty easy shove with A6. Don't have any notes on Shoney as of yet either, so I guess we have to pull the trigger where we know it's going to be pretty standard. Nice. Can't be scared. I'm not scared. I ain't scared. I'm going to try and ISO this limper if he's going to limp fold. we got to make a note about that as well. Wow, big flop for us. Shit. I'm checking more for value than anything else because I'd really like him to put more money in the pot. If he limped with an ace, that's it is what it is. That's fine. If he's going to limp with an ace at this stage of the game, that's fine by me. But in this situation, I think we're definitely never going to get away. And I wish him the best of luck if he does have an ace. We're not going to value bet though. I mean, I think that would be a little bit too uh I think that'd be a little bit too ambitious. Nice. Where was the diamond when you needed it, right? But uh, good read and the check on the flop is what I'm talking about. We're checking for value. We'd like to keep him in the pot. There are situations where he improves into the diamond that also gives us the rest of the money. Uh, like if he makes, uh, if he turns a pair that he likes or whatever, or he turns two pair that gives him the diamonds, that gives us the diamonds and stuff like that. That's great. We kept him in with the six four of diamonds as well. The flush draw is actually one of the uh, least likely things for him to have in that spot, which is why we're not betting. If we think he's going to have the flush draw, then obviously we go go ahead and bet to try and build the pot where we have the pair with it. Jibri Jeff, danke schön. Nicht schlecht. Yeah. Nimberg is asking, Nick, tell me after seven years as a front-end web developer and you changed to full-time poker, you don't do is it part-time or you totally close that job? No, I, I quit working many, many years ago. I was still doing web de web design very part-time though. Like I was doing like one job a year or something like that just because I, I wanted to do it for a friend or whatever. But in the years before uh, we started OP Poker, I was playing poker full-time. <laughs> Spragu and Nick. I ain't never scared. Uh, let's see, it was like 20 effective. Fix one. Uh, we're also going to want to make a note about the limp as well here. Uh, limp cutoff multi way 20, 20, 20 effective. Y64 suited. A GT. Pair of sixes in a back door here. Damn. Pretty damn good. Two pair on the river doesn't feel great. I guess we're gonna check call though. Feels kind of gross if he just turns up here with a four or something, but I mean the nine is there as well. Oh man, the eight is like just the absolute scum river. If you had a five or a seven or something like that, he wouldn't bet either, so I guess we're folding. I think that's pretty fair. Okay, uh, pretty standard bet here, I think. It's pretty much our only way to win at this point. 
Not going to value that top pair. More, we didn't have top pair. What are you talking about? We had a pair of eights. Not going to value that top pair. What are you talking about? When did we, we, did we have top pair at any stage in this tournament? We never had top pair in any stage in this tournament. All right, A6 suited. Not a hand that we want to fold. The question is, are we going to shove it in? The fact that he's using a random 3x open all of a sudden is pretty scary, unfortunately. And once we hit that six, it can be really difficult to play this well. Okay, I'm actually gonna kind of blocker bet the turn in the river here. Sometimes he hits this 10, which really sucks. Um, but I honestly, like I, you guys know I don't, I'm not a fan of value bets, uh, sorry, um, blocker bets, but I actually think this is one of the rare situations where I approve of it. Because we don't want him to value bet with a 10, and we also don't want him to ha have a hand like King Jack off or something and turn his hand into a bluff in a huge bet river bet that's going to make it difficult to call, to call with a 6. Poker is still a hard way to make an easy living. So true. Never never a truer phrase. Darmani, the only uh, Grand Tour content we have thus so far is what's on our on our YouTube channel. Go check it out there. Alright. So Shoni again, this guy has been limping pretty liberally. So we're gonna go ahead and attack this with a hand that's got a lot of playability. Once we actually hit the seven, it does become a little bit more difficult to play. So I guess that means he might have an eight, might have a jack some of the time. I think a nice small bet here is for, for value is what we want. Um, This is a really close one, guys. I honestly think that this would be okay just to shove here to try and isolate the bounty, but it is pretty high risk. Looks like he's going to get the double as well. Nice one. And if this six holds, nice. Wow, this is a huge open, man. This guy's got some fucking massive opens from the button. It's really, really, really gross to try and deal with. Blinds are getting really low now. Yeah, CJ, exactly, exactly. That's, I, I'm just not a fan of the blocker bet at all. I just think that's a spot where we keep a 10 super honest and we actually just get to show down more often. So you'll basically never see me use that play to even try and exploit it. All right, so we've seen him limp fold the button before, so I don't mind shoving this king eight here. King eight is a shove that we'd make blind v blind anyway for about 12 v blinds effective regardless, so I think it's a pretty clear push. Four five, no thanks. All right, come on 17. I'd really like to see a hand here at some point. These fucking opens, dude. Absolutely massive, massive open raises here. It's actually kings. That's a really good thing to have a note for as well. 
All right, guys, this is it. Okay, we gotta show this hands. No way out. Okay, just okay. This is huge, huge open raises standard. Confirmed. There's just no way. He just keeps using these huge sizings all the time. Just confirmed absolutely massive every single time. Left the flop. Oh. The first time he doesn't open his button, we've got kings, and he's about to put in like three big blinds total. That's so gross. So gross, man. How does that happen? This is a hand we can go with. 3x open. That's fine. Give me the money. Hold! That's what I'm talking about. Grand Tour 16. Or is it 17? Where are we at? $51 in bounties there as well. Feels pretty fucking excellent. Yes, please. Fuck yeah. That's what we're talking about. Yes, that one felt so good. It's been... Oh, we've been having such a bum time in the last couple days as well. Check this out, guys. Congratulations, you've won, you've run the uh, congratulations, you've won the race. Total bounties 9892. Your own bounty value was 13928. Total one during one the total one during this race 19092. Would you like to start a new race? Yes, in just a moment, please. Let me get a screenshot really quick, guys, as well. Oh man, you absolutely love to see it, don't you? You absolutely love to see it. <laughs> 